The Suicide Squad will feature a slew of new to the silver screen faces, and we've got the scoop on who they are and what they do. Here's a breakdown of every new character in the Suicide Squad roll call. When Idris Elba's name first cropped up in connection with the Suicide Squad, it was as a reported replacement for Will Smith's Deadshot. Smith, who appeared as a smart-mouthed assassin in David Ayer's Suicide Squad, had to drop out of Gunn's project due to scheduling conflicts. Warner Brothers and DC Entertainment executives may have initially wanted to have Deadshot in the follow-up no matter what, but it was confirmed that Elba wasn't going to take Smith's spot after all. Instead, he'd be playing an entirely different character not yet seen on the silver screen. DC Fandom confirms that Elba is playing Bloodsport in the Suicide Squad. Three different people have taken on the Bloodsport moniker in the DC comics, but Elba is playing the original, Robert Dubois, who first appeared in print in Superman Vol. 2, No. 4. Dubois suffers a mental breakdown when he learns that, because he was too scared to fight himself, his brother took his place in the Vietnam War and ended up permanently injured. After one of Lex Luthor's lackeys convinces Dubois that Superman is the person he needs to exact revenge upon, Dubois takes on the name Bloodsport and starts murdering his way through Metropolis with kryptonite bullets, before he's ultimately defeated by Superman. It's probably unlikely that Elba's Bloodsport will experience this exact arc in the Suicide Squad, but there's a chance that certain elements of it will make their way into the characterization. Michael Rucker, who played Yondu in the first two films in the Guardians of the Galaxy franchise, has a plum role in the Suicide Squad as Brian Derlin, a spoiled millionaire who moves to Gotham City in hopes of becoming a vigilante much like Batman. Working under the name Savant, Derlin is turned away from vigilantism by Batman himself. This motivates Savant to become a professional blackmailer, going on to do such outrageous acts as kidnapping Black Canary and overthrowing the Gotham Mafia with the help of Huntress. At one point in the comics, Savant is even offered a place on the Birds of Prey team. However, the New 52 comics rebooted Savant in September 2011, and the version of the character seen in that run is almost definitely the one we're getting in the Suicide Squad. The recent comics depict Savant as an extremely amoral and lethally effective member of the Suicide Squad. Polkadot Man is a silly-looking villain who's originally an enemy of Batman. Born Abner Krill and originally known as Mr. Polkadot, Polkadot Man made his print debut in Detective Comics No. 300. Polkadot Man centers his entire modus operandi around spots and dots and acts mostly as a low-level rogue who does all he can to capture Batman's attention and prove he's just as clever and capable as the beloved superhero. Though his presence isn't as prominent as, say, the Joker, Polkadot Man still packs a punch thanks to the powers his removable suit dots give him, such as dots that transform into flying saucers, chainsaws, and floating fists. The Suicide Squad's Polkadot Man will likely have a fresh story, one focus more on his connections to the titular crew. For the role of Polkadot Man, the Suicide Squad snagged actor David Dasmolchin, who appeared in The Dark Knight as a former Arkham patient named Thomas Schiff, one of Joker's goons who attempted to murder the mayor. It'll be interesting to see what Dasmolchin brings to the table in this new role. Pitch Perfect franchise breakouts and German DJ Flula Borg will portray Javelin, a German athlete who became a criminal after leaving his sports career behind. Javelin originally joins the Suicide Squad after losing a fight against the Green Lantern, and asks that all traces of his criminal past be expunged upon him, becoming a member of the team. He's a solid addition to the Suicide Squad, using Javelin-like weapons in combat, and he even participates in the War of the Gods DC Comics crossover. Ultimately, that participation leads to his death via his own Javelin. What a fitting end to your life's pursuits. Fans have known for a while that Portuguese actress Daniela Melchior will portray Ratcatcher in The Suicide Squad. Now we know that Melchior's character is officially known as Ratcatcher 2 in The Suicide Squad, an interesting moniker that suggests this Ratcatcher could be a second iteration of the exterminator turned villain. Born Otis Flanagan, Ratcatcher used to spend his time scurrying across Gotham City catching rats. However, his job as a Gotham City Sanitation Department Ratcatcher ends when he stabs a man to death and is locked up for 10 years in the Gotham State Penitentiary. He then develops the villainous alter ego Ratcatcher, holds people prisoner in sewers, trains an army of rats to attack and kill his enemies on command, and generally terrorizes Gotham to hell and back. It doesn't seem like Melchior will be playing the Otis Flanagan iteration of Ratcatcher exactly, but we can guess that she's likely playing another person who has taken on the Ratcatcher name in Otis's place. Perhaps his daughter, but much like the definition of a rat, it's unclear. Rats are outside, mice are inside. Yo, but what if a mouse goes outside? Does it become a rat? And if a rat is in the house, is it a mouse? I ain't never seen no mouse outside. That's what I'm saying. That's because it's a rat, fool! Where Suicide Squad has Killer Croc, the Suicide Squad will have King Shark. King Shark is the son of the Shark God, 
and possesses superhero durability, strength, speed, and stamina, as well as sonar capabilities, the ability to regenerate damaged body tissue, and super sharp shark teeth. Comedian Steve Aggie will voice King Shark, who originally joins the Suicide Squad in the comics when Superboy teams up with the crew to take down the Silicon Dragons, a criminal syndicate that was wreaking havoc on the Hawaiian Islands. In the new 52 reboot of DC Comics continuity, King Shark is one of the main characters of the Suicide Squad, and he's been a familiar presence on the team ever since. Suicide Squad director David Ayer revealed in July 2016 that he wanted to have King Shark be on the team's lineup. However, the CGI that would have been required to bring King Shark to life was too much of an undertaking, so the film's creative team went with Killer Croc instead. Peacemaker first appeared as Christopher Smith in Fight in 5, number 40, and was a Charlton Comics character prior to DC Comics' acquisition of the company. As the Peacemaker name suggests, Smith is a diplomat so deeply committed to peacekeeping and the pacifist cause that he's willing to go so far as to kill those who reject law and order. In the comics, Peacemaker has a life-altering revelation about why he's so opposed to war, and begins to believe that the spirits of people he has murdered are living inside his helmet. Another character called Mitchell Black took on the Peacemaker mantle in the 1999 six-issue comic series The Law. But fans will likely see the Christopher Smith iteration on screen in The Suicide Squad. Former WWE superstar John Cena, who is continuing to prove his acting prowess, will play Peacemaker. And he's got a pithy one-sentence summation for those unfamiliar with the character. Be like a douchey Captain America. Language! TDK seems to be a new name for an old character, Floyd Belkin, also known by the hilarious moniker Arm Fall Off Boy, and even Splitter from time to time. Debuting in December 1989 Secret Origins Volume 2, number 46, Arm Fall Off Boy is based on a fan created parody character that artist Kurt Swan and writer Gerard Jones saw and totally dug. Arm Fall Off Boy possesses a giggle inducing ability to tear off his own limbs and use them as blunt force weapons. Basically, he embodies the threats, I'll rip your arms off and beat you to death with them. Except he's using his own arms to do the maiming and murdering. In the comics, he's mostly been associated with the Legion of Superheroes, which didn't exactly welcome him with open… um… Nathan Fillion will play TDK in The Suicide Squad, and with his background in comedy, particularly his role as Captain Hammer in Dr. Horrible's sing-along blog, we can't think of a better person for the part. Four different people have utilized the name Thinker to carry out their supervillain tasks within the pages of DC Comics. The Suicide Squad will most likely feature the original Thinker, Clifford DeVoe, a failed lawyer who used technologically powered telekinesis and a device called the Thinking Cap to become a master criminal. Over the years, he's bounced around the DC Universe, although he's primarily been a Flash villain. While on a mission with the Suicide Squad in Doom Patrol and the Suicide Squad special, the Thinker was killed by Weasel, another character appearing in the Suicide Squad. So we wouldn't hedge our bets on the two getting along in the film. The new 52 storyline Forever Evil saw the Thinker sent to Belle Reve Penitentiary, where the Suicide Squad is based, and align himself with the crime syndicate of America. Former Doctor Who star Peter Capaldi will play the Thinker in the upcoming movie. Best known for his work on Saturday Night Live, Pete Davidson is taking on a killer new role in the Suicide Squad, Blackguard. An enforcer for a crime syndicate known as the A Thousand, Blackguard was once an everyday criminal named Richard Hertz before he joined the organization. Yes, that's really his name. After escaping death at the hands of his fellow 1,000 members, Blackguard teams with the Suicide Squad on a mission to kill high-ranking members of a corporation. Unfortunately for Blackguard, things don't end well. Wade Eiling, a general and Suicide Squad member with superhuman abilities and regenerative powers, kills Blackguard by squeezing his head off. It's a shame he wasn't more headstrong. He'll never be the head of a major corporation. Okay, that'll do. Okay. The new mutants and Predators actress Alyssi Braga will portray a character by the name of Solsoria in The Suicide Squad. Not much concrete information is known about Solsoria, though the popular theory is that her name is actually Solsoria, a legitimate first and last name rather than a supervillain moniker. But regardless of name formatting technicalities, we're guessing that Braga's character could be a gender-bent version of Juan Soria, as no such character named Sol Soria or Sol Soria exists in the DC Comics canon. As with many other recruits, Juan Soria was a common criminal before joining the Suicide Squad. In the comics, he starts out wanting to become a superhero, injecting himself with nanites to get superpowers, but things don't go as planned. Soria auditions for the Justice League, gets denied, robs a bank, gets sent to Belle Reve Penitentiary, and is drafted into the Suicide Squad. He's treated pretty poorly. 
but it's all for a purpose. An alien the squad must defeat thrives on positivity, and Soria's negativity is what weakens it. Keeping up with tradition, James Gunn cast his brother in the Suicide Squad. Sean Gunn previously played Kraglin in Guardians of the Galaxy and Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 2, as well as provided the motion capture for Rocket, and he'll portray Weasel in Gunn's newest comic book movie. Weasel begins his story on the pages of 1985's The Fury of Firestorm No. 35. In the 1960s, a law student named John Monroe was generally having a terrible time despite being intelligent enough to get into Stanford University. His peers' incessant taunting ultimately pushes Monroe to commit murder decades later, adopting the name they call him Weasel as his alter ego moniker. While on a mission with the Suicide Squad, Weasel kills the Thinker, but the Thinker's mind-enhancing cap retains enough of its former owner's mind to then force Rick Flagg into killing Weasel. Like we said earlier, it doesn't seem like the Thinker and Weasel will be lifelong friends in the film. Possessing the powers of super strength and stamina, Mongal is an extraterrestrial warlord whose father, Mongol the Elder, is the ruler of the galaxy-traversing slaveholding satellite Warworld. In one noteworthy appearance, Mongal meets Superman and brings him into the Warlord ship, fighting against him alongside her twin brother, Mongol the Younger. Of course, no sibling dynamic is perfect, and she eventually gets decapitated by her brother during a fight in Green Lantern Volume 4, Number 8. In the Suicide Squad, expert martial artist Mei Linga, who performed stunts in 2017's Wonder Woman, will bring Mongal to life. The Suicide Squad hits theaters on August 6, 2021. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about upcoming comic book movies are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.